Okay, uh, this video uh, we will step through the process of um, cut, copy, paste, and also pitch shifting and time shifting in Reaper. We could also talk about reverse as well. And so um, in Reaper, um, you are, I have a, a 1 to 10 audio file here that is our basically our guinea pig audio file. And if I uh, click on the region, I um, basically can move it around, obviously. If I hold down shift, I can move it independent of the time grid. So I'm holding down shift and clicking and dragging. Um, I can also option click with option held down. I can move, I can uh, basically move the audio within the item, which is nice. Um, in, Re in Reaper, they refer to regions as items. So I can uh, basically glide the audio into uh, a particular spot in, uh, in Reaper. Um, finally, if I want to, um, if I want to split the region here, I just hit the, uh, the, um, I just spaced out on what, uh, what the key command is. If I go into the item menu and I can, um, find it easily, that is the split items at cursor. Obviously that's the, an S, excuse me. So I can split that item there with the S button and, um, create a new track with command T. That new track will be down here. And if I copy this and option, uh, not option drag, but uh, command drag it down here, I get another one. <clears throat> I can fade in and out by hovering over the top left and right of this track. And um, further, if I wanted to time stretch it, I can go down here to my uh, my drag, uh, my, my trim tool and press the option key and option drag to the right. If I hold down the shift button as well, this is free of the tempo grid. So I have down shift, option, and clicking and dragging. Um, so that basically time stretches um, this audio. And um, so if I go over here and solo it and listen one. to it, right? As opposed to this one up here. One, one. This one has been time stretched uh, and the time stretching is independent of pitch. <clears throat> one, one. If I wanted to pitch shift a region independent of time, uh, I can go up here to this region uh, and uh, command drag it down to another one to duplicate it. And down here, uh, I can now um, basically hold down the shift and option key to raise the pitch. So I'm looking at the top of my region and notice that it has my audio file name here. Um, but I can change the pitch by clicking and dragging upwards or downwards, and it'll scroll through the pitch shift, if you can see the tiny numbers there. So I'm basically raising it up uh, three and, almost three and a half semitones. One, one, one. So if I solo this. One, one. Right, and so if I keep um, holding down shift and option, I can basically raise the pitch of this region pretty easily. One. And again, if I wanted to uh, stretch it as well, I would option, click, and drag to the right. Shift will make it independent of tempo grid. One. So in the digital realm, I have tons of flexibility over shift, uh, over pitch and time functions. Um, I can also uh, talk about the uh, reverse function functionality. Uh, which is also very useful. And so if I go up here to command and click and, and duplicate my number one again, uh, I can go down here and go to my item menu and say, okay, I would like to reverse item as new take. And that will basically take my original waveform and show me what it would look like if it were reversed. Notice I have two takes. I can toggle between those two. Wow. Well, if I solo just this track. No. Nope. It sounds like the reversed. If I click on this one, it'll go back to the original. One. I can select either no. one. If I decide to keep one or the other, um, I can then go back to my item menu and say uh, render items as new take or glue. Basically gluing the items um, will uh, preserve my edits, right? So if I, if I go down here and even do some, some phasing, uh, fading, and changing of that, I can go back to my uh, my item menu and say glue, and it will uh, put those uh, edits into the region. No. 
And so this is now reversed independent of my original waveform.